Hello, everyone. It is Thursday, August 1st, 2019. Of course, yesterday was New Comic Book Day, which means right now today is New Comic Book Video Time. We're going to jump right into the books because yesterday was a huge day for books. I picked up a ton of things, like a lot of people did, because a lot of really good titles came out. Now, I broke these up a little differently than I normally do. I'm going to show the Marvel, then I'm going to show the DC, and then I'm going to show the independent books or the books that are non-Marvel DC related to kind of show you the hottest books of the week are not usually Marvel and DC anymore because a lot of people are kind of getting away from that. So we're going to jump right into the books. <clears throat> First book we're going to show is from Marvel, Captain America, the Carnage Eyes cover right there. I loved, this was number 12. I love this cover. I just like the, you know, the Captain America and the, you know, Statue of Liberty in the background. Really, really cool book right there. Of course, everybody knows my love for things Ghost Rider or Cosmic Ghost Rider. This was the Avengers 22. And if you see right there, it is one of the Carnage Secret Variant Blood Variants right there. There was that there. Really cool cover. Black Panther 14 Carnage cover. There's that. <clears throat> kind of a cool Conan the Barbarian cover right here. It's a Carnage cover. Uh, I just kind of like the way the artwork was. It looked real, you know, just rudimentary and... Just kind of cool looking right there. There's that there. This was number two, two, eight. <clears throat> the Venom Manual number one, Acts of Evil. <clears throat> this is the origin of Lady Hellbender. That there. I kind of like that too where she's ripping the, the suit. So there's that there. Uh, Powers of X. This was the second part of one of the connecting covers uh, that I picked up last week. A lot of people were buying this. This was the only book of that I bought. I'm not really interested in this storyline. Uh, so, Powers of X, House of X, I'm not really interested in it. But I do want to get the connecting cover, so that was that one there. <clears throat> the Thing Battling the Hulk. I don't care what anybody says. I think Hulk would pretty much give him a crush job. Just break him into stone. So, there's that there. This was Fantastic Four number 12. Sorry about the glare. Batman Who Laughs, number seven, cover A. Oh, that was the last of the Marvel. Now we're going to the DC. This was Batman Who Laughs, number seven. This is the A cover here. <clears throat> and a really cool, this was like one of the covers of the week to me. Basically a top five cover. This was, I believe, uh, Patrick Finch did this cover. This was the B cover here. Really, really cool cover. I love the Who Laughs character. Um, you know, I've been showing things that I've picked up of him in the past, so... This was a, basically a no-brainer, and I am enjoying the storyline on that book. Uh, <clears throat> City of Bane, Batman Secret Files, number two. And then, of course, coming from the DC Black label, we have uh, Batman Last Night on Earth. And then... The Joker in the Lantern cover, which I really liked right there. There's that. So those are the books right there that I picked up as it relates to Marvel DC. Not a whole lot. Two. There's a little fly here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Twelve books from Marvel DC uh, this week. So now we're going to jump into the independents. And a lot of the independent books this week are the ones that everybody wanted. So we're going to kind of jump right into that right there. <clears throat> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number 96. Here's one cover here. And the second cover. These books were absolutely flying off the shelves. And everybody knows the storyline. So uh, category zero, number three, Scout Comics. A book I talked about when it came out a few weeks ago, and this was the second print. I love the story on the first one. I thought it was really cool concept, and I am looking forward to reading the other ones coming out. This is Canto, or Cantu, however you want to pronounce it. Issue number one, second print. This was a real popular book here, and corresponds with the issue number two that came out here. There's that. And this, of course, is from IDW. Tarot, Witch of the Black Rose. 
one cover here. This is 117, I believe. Yes, 117. I like the tar the tarot storylines. Uh, you know, a lot of people buy these because of the covers, because the covers are really cool. But I kind of enjoy the storyline on that. And this was the secondary cover here. I think this is the better of the two covers, uh, was this one here. New from Dark Horse, Manor Black. I am looking forward to reading this one. This was one cover here, which was okay. And then the cover that caught a lot of people's eye is this one here. What's that? Another book from IDW. This is issue number one of Road of Bones. So it has all the things that I like on it, you know, this kind of genre. So I saw this and just snatched this up real quick. From Image, Ice Cream Man, number 13. Really nice cover there. Image, Paper Girls, number 30. This is the last issue of the Paper Girls uh, first storyline. This has been optioned for, I believe it's a TV show. So a lot of, a lot of issues, when you buy books, a lot of the storylines, the first and last issues are always the ones that are most sought after. And this is going to be no exception. Paper Girls number 30, the last issue right here. <clears throat> uh, this is kind of a cover purchase for me. This is a EC homage, of course. This would be Cult Classic from Vault Comics. What's that? A fun book from Valiant. I don't do a lot of Valiant books, but this one I'm enjoying. I kind of look forward to it. Uh, this is Punk Mambo. Number four, is it four? Yeah, number four, cover A here. Missing a tooth, that doesn't, that's more punk than you know. And number four, doing a little stage diving right there. There's that. From Scout Comics, Red Winter, number one. Also from Scout Comics, coming out with some really nice books. Uh, Crucified, number two. I read the first one, really, really liked it. Really looking forward to reading this one here. Exciting Comics, number three. Junior High Horrors, number six. I like this because it is a Friday the 13th, uh, number one poster homage. And I absolutely love Friday the 13th, as you know. I don't have to tell you about that. So this is a kind of a fun book right here. And the storyline's been pretty cool. Uh, I just kind of like the fact that they do the different uh, vintage horror covers. And so this one here was a no-brainer. I picked up a couple of these, actually, because I just like it. A book that a lot of people didn't buy, but it's selling pretty well. This is from Scout Comics, and this is Gut Ghost number one. There were two versions of this book. There was this version here, and then there was a second version where he had a skeleton over the face. Apparently, the issue with the skeleton only had 350 uh, available copies that were printed, and they were not... you couldn't buy those. These were just randomly inserted uh, in the orders. I special ordered these two books from one of my shops, and these are the two I got. I did not get one of the skeleton variants, and they're selling for about 35 bucks online right now. Uh, and the regular issue is selling for 10 to 15 so uh, kind of limited Scout Comics. A lot of Scout Comics this week. And then <clears throat> I highlighted this book probably four, five, six weeks ago and told everybody to jump on it. This is from Antarctic Press. Now, I read the first issue, absolutely loved it. It was everything I hoped it would be. This is Leave on the Light, number one. There's that there. Teddy Bear, Serial Killer, Little Girl. Ends bad for everybody consumed, uh, you know, concerned. Now, I read the first issue. They didn't waste any time uh, jumping into what this guy does to people. So I think it's uh, page four is when he does his first damage. So there was that. Now, as you can see, a lot of people who are buying books are getting kind of irritated um, as it relates to Marvel and DC, uh, you know, cheap paper. Although, uh, DC has stepped up and tried to do some of those, uh, I can't think of the name for it, right? the thicker card, the cardstock uh, covers and cardstock paper, uh, but they're charging extra money for it. Uh, you know what? Independent books are limited. People are starting to realize that. There's always been a big hardcore following for independent books. I love independent books, but I mean, you can see the stack I picked up just on the independents. 
Uh, I consider anything non-Marvel DC an independent. I, I still consider Image an independent. Uh, but when you start talking about, you know, smaller, smaller stuff, you're talking Antarctic Press, you're talking Scout Comics. These are the ones that are coming out with some really good storylines right now. And these are the storylines that people are really jumping on and looking for and the ones that uh, flippers go after because, quite frankly, a lot of people don't buy. A lot of shops don't buy uh, the real small press books. Uh, they stick to the Marvel and the DC stuff. So uh, there was that this week. Again, it was a really big week. But I wanted to ask a question. Uh, there was an issue yesterday at a shop, one of the shops I go to where a person who came into the shop... <laughs> Of course, the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle book was hot, and they had a variant that was already selling uh, the night before the releases for anywhere from fifty to sixty dollars. Uh, the day it came out, it was in the thirty-five to forty-dollar range. But uh, this person came into the shop; he saw the price. The shop had him listed at fifty-nine dollars, uh, you know, because that was the going price, and these were, you know, the, you know. I think it was one in tens or something like that. I, I didn't buy any. I wasn't interested in getting those. But this individual was upset about the price and started giving the shop a hard time about the price and saying, you know, how do you come up with your price point? Well, you know, like we've talked about this a thousand times. A shop, when it comes to, uh, you know, the one in 10 variants, one in 20, whatever, those are going to be sold at the going rate. If you have a one in 10, and Mortal Hulk was a perfect example of this one in 10s going for, you know, $50, $60 when it came out. Uh, the shop gets the incentives because they buy enough of the books. Doesn't mean they have to give you that book for the cover price, $3.99. Most shops make their money uh, on the new releases with the incentive covers. That's why they buy the extra covers to get the incentive covers. If they want to price that book at whatever they want, especially if they're going with what is selling online for the incentive variants, not the new releases, that we've already discussed that on this channel, that if it's a new release book, it should go for cover price, regardless of what it is. But a variant, uh, you know, a, a, a copies ratio, that, that's open game. That's, that is what it is. And people who buy those books mostly understand that. But this guy came in, got mad, started arguing with the, uh, the owner of the shop about it. You know what? If you don't want to buy the book, don't buy the book. But don't sit there and give them a hard time because the shop's trying to make money on that book. It was going for what it was going for. It may have been a couple of dollars overpriced. But you know what? They have the right to do that, and they can adjust their price down the road. But see, this is what we talked about with these speculators and these flippers. They'll complain about the price they have to pay for it, but then they'll try to turn around and sell it for $50, $60, or whatever. So if you're going in there, and you're a good customer, and you're buying books every week, shops are going to work with you. At least the good shops do. The shops I go to work with me because I pick up my books every week, and I spend you know a good amount of money every week. Uh, if you're just walking shop to shop every week just trying to cherry-pick things, and you don't like the price, don't get pissed off about it. Uh, you know, either buy it for what it's listed for, or you know, you can ask, you can, can you do a little better on this price. And if they say no, it's no. Don't get mad. Don't, you know, it just because it makes you look bad. It makes you look pathetic. And again, that's the whole thing about flipping and trying to make an easy dollar. I've had a lot of people give me a hard time about that comment. Everybody has the right to make money. I understand that. But you want to know something? If you're going to try to make money, don't be so obvious about it. Walk up with 50 copies of a book and then get pissed off when they say you can have two copies of a book. So there was that there. Again, really, really big week for books. Um, I, you know, I appreciate all the viewers and all the positive comments I've been getting. I thank you so much. It, it does mean a lot to me. Uh, I'm continuing to build the subscriber base here because I think a lot of people... Uh, are enjoying this channel and agree with the things that I say. And even if you don't agree with us, that's what, again, like I've stated in the past, that's what makes this industry great is that we can agree to disagree and still, you know, all be part of the same community. So that's pretty much all we have this week. So I hope you liked the video. But as always, if you didn't, nothing I can do for you. Have a great day and I'll see you later.